potential and potential difference. Eh? First of all, eh, let's try to understand what does it mean by electric potential. Uh, when we talk about potential, right now, take notes that potential is different from potential difference. Eh? Potential and potential difference are not the same. They are different. Eh? Okay. So let's talk about the electric potential first. Eh? When there is an electric field, when there's electric field, eh? now electric field is created by a charge. Electric field is created by a charge. Eh? So for example, eh? let's say we have a charge here. This charge will create an electric field around it. This is a charge and it creates an electric field around the charge. Inside the field, there is potential. Inside the field, there is potential. Potential is the ability to do work. Potential is the ability to do work. If the potential is high, it can do more work. If the potential is low, it can do less work. So potential is the potential to do work okay that's the first thing that you need to know eh? let me repeat eh? if there is a charge it will create a field around it so this charge create a field around it and inside the field there is potential potential is the ability to do work means that the field can do work can do work eh? but what's the significance of doing work we'll discuss that later so for the time being you just need to know that inside the field there's the potential to do work the electric potential at a point in an electric field is the work done to bring a unit. Uh, a unit means one coulomb. Eh? One unit of charge means one coulomb. Eh? A unit of positive charge from infinity to the point. Now, take notes that the word infinity doesn't mean it's very, very far away. Infinity means outside the field. It can be just a few meters away, okay? As long as it's outside the field, then it's called infinity. Outside the field is called infinity, yeah? Now, let's see this diagram here. Uh, inside the circle, let's say, let's say this is an electric field, okay? Outside the circle is uh, no, no field. It's outside the field, okay? Uh, here, we have one charged particle. The charge is one column. One column. And there's another charged particle. Uh, the charge is two columns. Two column. Let me draw one more, okay? One more. Eh? Uh, let's say we have another one which is three column. Three column. The charge is a uh, negative three column. Let's say at this point, any point inside the, any point inside the field, it, it has potential. Eh? Not only these two points. Eh? Any point inside the field, it has potential. But we only we only take these two points as a as an example. Okay, like for example, at point A. This point A, it has abilities to do work. So it can attract uh, or, or it can move this uh, one column charge. Eh? It can move this one column charge from this point, from infinity eh, to this point. Now, I do not draw a straight line, but I, I draw a curve like this is because uh, I just want to show you that the path, the path of the charge move is not important. Whether you bring it directly or you move it here and come here or move it to other place, come here, it doesn't matter. Okay, as long as you move it from uh, this point outside the field, eh? infinity, eh? outside the field is called infinity. From this point, you move it to A, uh, it will do work. So this, this point, eh? this point A, eh? the potential can do work to move this one column charge from infinity to this point and uh, from here it shows that the work done is two joule it do two joules of work to move this one columns of charge uh, from infinity to do uh, to this point now the amount of work done is related to the speed of the charge move the higher the work done the faster the charge move let's try to repeat again okay Inside the field, any point in the field, eh, it has potential. Potential means the ability to do work. This any point it can do work. Do work means that it can move the charge. Okay, it do works to move the charge. 
any point eh, in the field, it can move the charge. But the potential, we have high potential and low potential, right? High potential and low potential. So what does it mean by high potential and low potential? High potential mean, means it can do more work. Low potential means it can do less work. But if, if we say high and low, how to measure? How to measure is high or low? Uh, to measure the high or low of the potentials, eh? so we use this. That is uh, how much work done to bring one unit of charge eh? from infinity to this point. For example, if point A, it can move one columns of charge eh? from infinity to this point and the work done is 2 joule, then we say the potential at point A is 2 joule per one column, okay, or two wood. So we say the potential at A is two wood. So what does it mean by two wood? Two wood means that A, it can do work to move one column of charge from infinity to point A by doing a work done to Joe. So that is what does it mean by two wood. Eh? Two wood means that it can do two joules of work, two joules of work to move one column of charge from infinity to point A. Now we have another charge. It's a uh, three column, negative three column. If we want to move this charge from infinity to point A. Now point A, we know that, we know that the potential is two wood, right? Two wood. Eh? So if there's one column, eh, it will do, do two joules of work. If it's three column, it will do six joules of work six joules of work. So the potential at A is equals to six joule per three column. It's also two water. Eh? If the charge is higher, it will do more work. Okay, if the charge is higher, it will do more work. So that is, uh, what does it mean by potential? Eh? Potential two word. Potential two word means that it can do two joules of work to move one column of charge. Remember, how much work done is related to the speed of the charge move. Eh? So this one, it will, move it will move faster. The three column charge will move faster to A eh, compared to the one column charge. Why? Because more work done. Now, we have another point, point B. Now this point B, uh, it can move this two columns charge eh, from infinity to point B by doing 10 joules of work. So this point B, eh, it also has potential, okay? And uh, potential means potential to do work, right? So it can move negative two columns of charge eh, from infinity to point B by doing 10 joules of work. So tell me, what's the potential at B? Five wood, yes. Because it do 10 joules of work per two column eh, or five joules of work per one column. Five joules of work per one column means five wood. So the potential here is five wood. Here, two wood. So which one has higher potential? B, right? B, yeah? How much the potential is higher? Three wood higher, right? Because this one five wood, this one two wood. Eh? So the potential is five wood higher. So now you know which, which uh, point, which one? can do more work. Point B, right? It has higher potential, it can do more work. Do more work means that it will move the charge faster. Eh? It will move the charge faster. Uh, so that's the meanings of potential. Eh? So electric potential at a point. So it must be always at a point in the electric field. Eh? Only in an electric field, it has potential. So electric potential at a point in the electric field is the work done to bring one column of charge from infinity to the point. If it's two column, then the work done, you must divide it by two. If it's three column, then the work done, you must divide it by three. Because for the definition, that is the work done to bring one column of charge.